Hey guys, it's Style. In this video, I'm going to walk through how to unlock the Thunder Manifestation through the Sarai Storm Chasers quest. It's actually really simple and achievable within the hour. Head to this location on Sarai Island near the Wave Rider on Fort Hiraumi and speak to Eiko. I'm going to walk you through part 1 to 4, so that is the entire quest, and it will unlock the Thunder Manifestation. So bear with me and my fast forwarding clips. You're gonna head to meet Taisuke, and you're gonna have a conversation with him. This is gonna be quite a long conversation, so I'm speeding through it for you. Eiko and Taisuke are two adventurers from the Adventurers Guild working on a commission. Our goal here is to seal the warding stones, but we have no idea how. We find some mysterious cat footprints around the warding stone, and we decide to follow them in search for clues. Follow the cat footprints all the way till you reach the end of the trail. I actually used the elemental site to help me find the footprints a lot easier, but it turns out I'm actually just blind and they were there the whole time. <laughs> um, yeah, so just keep following the footprints, they're pretty much glowing. <laughs> Once you get there, you'll be at a shrine. You want to unlock this waypoint so that you can always come back. And speak to this cat. <laughs> Much to our surprise, the cat is actually head priestess of the Asase shrine. What? <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. So, we're asking about the warding stones and she will ask you to help fix the shrine offering box. Your next task is to find the materials to fix the offering box. If we fix the offering box, the head priestess will teach us how to seal the warding stones. Follow the quest markers and defeat the treasure hoarders until you speak to the very last one. He will be so scared of you that he will offer you anything you need. And what you really want is like wood and nails and stuff. Follow the marker till you reach the treasure hoarder camp and defeat all the treasure hoarders. Once you've defeated everyone, head over to pick up the materials marked. We've got some wooden nails and stuff. <laughs> A box of nails, planks and rope. Teleport back to the shrine and fix the offering box. Speak to the head priestess and she will explain how to seal the warding stones. This tutorial can be found in the archives but it's actually as simple as she explains it. You really don't need to read it again. Teleport back to Taisuke and speak to him. It's time to start sealing the warding stone. First, you'll touch all three paper charm hangers and rotate the warding stones to match the number on the charms. This is really a puzzle of trial and error. You can trial all sorts of combinations if you want, but the fastest way I personally solve this is to rotate the top stone until it worked. I found that the top and bottom charms on the stone need to add up to the number on the paper charms hangers. So it's kind of like a lot of trial and error, especially my first time. I wasn't really sure what I was doing. I was kind of just <laughs> winging it. Best advice I can give you with puzzles is just hit it till it works. <laughs> oh look, I unlocked it, yay! Part 1 complete. To start part 2, head over to the next quest marker and remember to unlock any waypoints along the way. It's actually kind of dangerous on this path due to the lightning so make sure to bring some food with you or a really good healer oh oh <laughs> that was rough um yeah don't stand still in inazuma just don't stand still <laughs> you will die <laughs> Grabbing my ball fruit, grabbing that waypoint, grabbing my ball fruit again. 
I'm like picking everything up. Okay, we're, we're about to fight. We need to heal everybody. Everybody eat some food. <laughs> okay, fight the Karagi. Fight the Karagi. And once defeated, you can touch the paper charm hangers. But you'll find that one is missing. So run towards the quest area marked to find it. I love this minimap. I don't know what I'd do without a minimap. <laughs> okay, so summoning my Electrogranum, teleporting with the Thunder Sphere, and I'm gonna use the little portal to travel up. Yay! Touch the charm. Hang on. Now I can head back to the Warding Stone and rotate it. Rotate. That was easy. <laughs> Talk to Eiko and Taisuke. And we're done. That was the end of part two. Now starting part three, we want to meet Eiko and Taisuke. So let's look for them towards the marker. And don't forget to get your waypoints along the way. So look for the portal and run close to it to use it. This should take you to the top of a floating rock. <laughs> There's no way else I could describe it. This will take you to the start of the Thunder Sphere part of the quest. My personal favorite. Summon an Electrogranum and teleport towards the charm hangers marked. So we're always following those hangers. Always following those markers. Remember to unlock all the chests along the way too. There are so many Electroculi just floating around this island, so make sure you're picking them up as you go. If you've missed any, it's no big deal. Like, I actually really enjoy flying around, teleporting around, looking for them. And um, there's so much content to explore in this update. I absolutely love it. Grab this chest. I shall treasure this good fortune. Common chest. Two primo gems, yes. <laughs> Grab this waypoint. Touch the charm. Okay. You can actually teleport back here to this teleport waypoint, but um, I really do not mind using the Thunder Spheres. It's actually my preferred transport method <laughs> in Inazuma. I love transporting through Thunder Sphere. It's so much fun. And that is the second Paper Charm hanger. And we've got one more to find. It's it's uh, below to my right. Get a chest, exquisite chest. Today is a lucky day. Yes, five Primo gems. Okay, we're 180 meters away. Okay, I see it. <laughs> Flying up high ground. See, this is where I could have teleported, but also no. I mean, I love flying through teleporting on the Thunder Sphere. I think it's so much fun. That was great. <laughs> Give it to me! <laughs> okay, I was stuck for a second. <laughs> 
Now we've touched three paper charm hangers. I am back at the warding stone. I'm going to rotate it. Rotating the top and the bottom. And we've unlocked it! Yes! Yay, we did it! <laughs> it's unlocked! Okay, part three of the quest is completed. Now, to complete part four, we want to get to the next point marked on the map. Use the Thunder Spheres to teleport to the marker. It's okay if you get lost. Um, what really you should be using as a guide is the marker itself and your mini map, of course. Usually, the Thunder Spheres are in the direction, like, they take you to the direction that you're supposed to go. If by any chance you're near two Thunder Spheres, taking you in different directions, just make sure you're following the stream of electricity. Okay, we've unlocked the waypoint, touch the charms, and rotate the stone. Gonna rotate the top, bottom, bottom again, top. Like I said, it's a lot of trial and error. And yes, we did it! <laughs> that was actually a lot easier than I thought. I am so happy. This cutscene is like, wow. Oh, it's so cool. I love this island. How epic is that? Okay. Fly towards the huge platform and ta da! <laughs> Here we go. Oh my goodness. Oh, finally. Hello, Thunder Manifestation. Give me the storm beads. Fight. Okay, try and defeat the, the Thunder Manifestation. I promise you'll do a much better job than me. <laughs> that was honestly not my best performance. I think this entire video is just gonna be me running away. <laughs> oh no. Once it has a target locked on you, you know you're dead, right? Like, you're pretty much dead meat. <laughs> this boss is super fun to play with. <laughs> I- There is not enough food to keep me alive. I'm on my last, like, rice pudding. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna do this. Oh, <laughs> we did it just in time. Just in time. Okay, got my storm beads. <laughs> Congratulations. If you've made it this far, you've watched that really cringe defeat. <laughs> that was really bad. But uh, yeah, don't, don't, um come to me for combat advice. They really don't know how to help you. Um, but yeah, like I said, not my best performance, but you get the point. So we've unlocked the boss. Now we can come back anytime to collect storm beads for Bowl. If you've pulled her and you want to build her. Follow the marker and teleport with your thunder spears to find your precious and luxurious chest waiting for you. Collect your rewards from the chests and pick up the peculiar pinion. Head back to Aiko and Taisuke to complete the quest. And you are done! Congratulations! You finished the quest! 
thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end i hope you found this video helpful and let me know what you think in the comments don't forget to hit the like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss a thing i've also made an instagram account it's called style genshin and um i kind of just post photos that i like from the game because i'm obsessed with genshin and that's kind of just what i do uh, yeah but follow that sometimes i talk random crap on my account and i'd really love if you could be my friend <laughs> thank you for watching and i will see you guys next time <laughs>Hey guys, follow me, Stylist, on Twitch so you don't miss a live stream. You can talk to me in my live chat, interact with me, and play the game with me while watching my stream. Download Twitch from your app store or watch it on your computer at twitch.tv forward slash stylist. I'll see you there.